Mr. Feige, I don't feel so good. It's all right. I don't know what's happening. I, I, I don't want to go. I don't want to go back to Sony. Their, their video looks weird. This is better than simple. They don't have it. I, I, I don't know. I, I don't want to go. It's okay, kid. You had a good run. It's, it's okay, okay, Peter. You can be with me now. I'm Marco. I'm Chris. And this is Universe 36. Today we're here to talk about Spider-Man leaving the MCU. They've done it again! They've taken Spider-Man from me! The 15th time! But don't worry, we have five theories on what Disney's actually planning to do with Spider-Man. Theory number one. After the failure of Sam Raimi's third Spider-Man movie, Sony vowed never to let another Spider-Man trilogy Happen again! Okay, this theory might seem a little far-fetched, but if you think about it, The Amazing Spider-Man 2 still made, after their budget, four to five hundred million dollars. So that movie wasn't really a failure. They easily could have made a third movie, and it would have been profitable too. Because Spider-Man movies are always going to be profitable. Theory number two. Disney's just gonna buy Sony. Like, this is what they're getting. They have the money to do it. They have the power. We all saw this coming. They did it to Fox. They can do it to me. I'll be a Disney sellout. Theory number three. Disney plans to rebrand Spider-Man. Now, they have a couple of good options. We have, obviously, Night Monkey. Tom Holland has already played Night Monkey in the MCU, so that is a viable character they can go with. And he isn't hiding, after all, because everyone knows he's Spider-Man, but does everyone know that he's Night Monkey? Ba -ba -bum. The second option goes with the fact that Disney has been molding Spider-Man into a baby Iron Man. And so what does that mean? Iron Lad! It only makes sense if you really think about it. And forget about that kid from Iron Man 3. He never existed. Iron Man 3 never existed, actually. <laughs> Theory number four. Building off of the fact that Disney is the second largest purchaser of explosives in the United States, second only to the United States military themselves. Here's what I think. They're going to use those explosives, bundle them into a large rubber band ball, put that rubber band ball into a trebuchet, launch the rubber band ball full of explosives into Sony headquarters, and blow it up! And then no one on this earth can say they can't use Spider-Man. And for theory number five, stay with us, because this one's a little out there, okay? A little strange. Craziest one yet. Disney is simply playing hard to get. They're playing hardball here. They know that when they broke off the deal with Sony, that millions of fans would be screaming in uproar, demanding their Spider-Man. And now, who's to blame? Sony. Why? I don't know. Disney's not being blamed for anything because they're perfect, apparently. But Sony! It's their fault! So Disney's plan is to wait for all of us to be upset, forcing Sony into the deal that they want. The 50-50 deal. The more money-making deal. They need the money so they can give us Spider-Man. Let us know in the comments down below. How do you feel about Spider-Man leaving the MCU? Are you heartbroken? Are you excited about the possibilities of him joining the Venomverse? Fighting enemies such as Venom, the Green Goblin, Black Cat and Silver Sable. Theory number one. <laughs> I'm still gonna get there it. There it is. <laughs> and you just can't see it. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, click the button right here to subscribe to the channel. If you would like to see more of our content, feel free to click a little lower. If you'll excuse me, I have to go prepare to fight Spider-Man! <laughs>